very, very light honey Kundalini citrine quartz. But what's what's striking about the the lighter ones um, is the phantom. There's always a little phantom inside it, and that would be a white phantom. Most likely some kale and clay trapped in there. From a form point of view, quite lovely, like a little vase. So you've got the stem at the bottom. So uh, the, the length of the crystal would, of course, be, be rather long, but uh, the, the, the actual section is maybe half. So if we say the length here is two plus inches, then the, the crystalline section would be, you know, just over an inch on this, on this particular one. Uh, absolutely natural citrine quartz, so this hasn't been heat treated in any way. Mind you, it is very light, so I'm actually going to call this Kundalini quartz rather than Kundalini citrine. But technically speaking, it is the, the citrine. It has got the form as well from exactly the same deposit. Now, forming on top of that citrine would be some hematite and stages of oxidation come girthite, which I, I suspect just from this deposit uh, with usually the yellow coloration inside the, the quartz is causing the, the citrine color would have been pyrite at some stage which lost its sulfur in solution which gave the yellow color to the quartz. That's my own totally uh, a, a see-through so let's just see if we can see my finger moving behind there and of course absolutely natural when you look into this crystal you see this immense clarity and uh, on the baked amethyst, you'll usually find fracturing in the faces, giving away the telltale baking.